Control Agent 1. Card number 12. George the Morin Schilt. George the Morin Schilt. Card number 12. Control agent number one. I don't know this person at all. Who is this guy? We'll find out. George the Horan Schilt. On their arrival from the USSR, the Oswalds moved to Fort Worth. Oh, Minsk, it would have been uh, in this one. Minsk, it would have been in Russia then. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's check it out. My apologies for that little deviation. Gotta correct it right away. So, card number 12, George. So, Morin Schult. On his arrival from the USSR, the Oswalds moved to Fort Worth, Texas, where on October 7, 1962, they were visited by an oil geologist named George Sergus the Morin Schult, a Russian born count whose father had been the Tsarist governor. Of Minsk, Marina's uh, Marina's father had been a czarist officer. The Morinshield uh, convinced the Oswalds to move to Dallas. With his help, they were taken in by the Russian uh, Immigre Committee, many of whom were right-wing uh, solidarists who sided first with the nazis and later with the cia against the communists on october 12th the eve of the cuban missile crisis oswald was hired by a, by a graphic artist a graphic arts company that did classified work for the army map service on top of secret u2 overflights of cuba for the next six months Lee and George were close friends, an odd couple if there ever was one. George's social contacts included oil men like H. L. Hunt, Clint uh, Murchison Sr., and Dean Demenev, a fellow Russian immigre and head of the CIA-connected Scholberg Corporation. His good friend, J. Walter Moore, an agent in the CIA's domestic contacts division had encouraged George to befriend Oswald. A world traveler fluent in six languages, the Count's relationship with the CIA and his forerunner, the OSS, dated back to World War II, when, according to the FBI, he worked for both the French underground and the Nazis. His counsel, Baron Constantine Maydell, a producer of Nazi propaganda films, was a top Eber agent in the USA, a Weller agent in the USA. The Morshell, the, the Morrell Shell, and Oswald parted company in April 1963. Oswald left for New Orleans and Morinshield went to Haiti, stopping en route in Washington, D.C. to meet with a CIA agent and an assistant director and, as, and an assistant director of a, Army Intelligence. Wow, what is going on with this Nazi CIA 